And this is the long-awaited weekly rough show. And here are your hosts, Yoyo and Nora. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Hello and welcome to Twirs, the weekly raft show. We are Yoyo and Nora and we spent this summer on water, but now we are in water. So in this episode you will get to see how we ended up in this hot tub. You will also get to see how we go through the first lock with the raft. And we are also going to visit a car graveyard. Let's go through the lock. It is time to test our flip-up mechanism, since the maximum width of the locks is wider than our tent. The entrance to the channel that leads to the lock has quite a strong current. I made the mistake to not go fast enough, so we bumped into the sidewall. The next obstacle is a bridge. It could be opened, of course, but we thought we might try it anyways. The lock in Leonard's Force compensates for a difference of 7.5 meters between the two lakes. It consists of three chambers in a row, like steps on a stair. The maximum width for going through the locks is 4 meters. We made our raft 390, just to be sure. However, it was not the best decision to mount the solar panels in that way, since they are now in the very front. We go through the locks backwards. This makes it much easier to steer and we see where we are going. How a lock works is as simple as it is brilliant. It uses the natural flow of water controlled through hatches. When the water is at the same level as in the next passage, the gate can be opened. Hi Jojo! <laughs> we survived! Yes. <laughs> we made it. First lock! Yeah. On the day of the lock opening, we were interviewed for a local newspaper made it under cover and Nora got to practice her Swedish on live radio. Och då måste jag fråga Nora Steiner. Varför har åker ni flotte genom Dalslands kanal? Vi åker flottan eftersom vi älskar naturen och vi vill spela konserter. We also performed one of our raft songs for the first time. We are now musicians, but we do enjoy playing music. And so this summer we decided that we want to play some music for people that pass by with their boats. And recently we sang a song for two strangers. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey! <Hiya. laughs> Stranger, let us sing this song. We have been floating all day long Now we look for a place to stay To spend the night in a bay Whether there is sun or there is rain We are floating anyway On the raft, on the water Yes, I am my mother's daughter She used to travel and I Have you seen the way we live? It's quite simple, we have not much to give So come and take a closer look Just be aware that you might get hooked Where there is sun or there is rain You can be floating anyway On the raft, on the lakes, that is all Takes to make me smile and you are smiling too Time is running slow When you follow the river flow On the raft, on the gold 
Our audience lives close to where we had parked the raft. So we met up in the evening and had dinner together, cooked in a proper kitchen. But that wasn't all. There is a little place called Forest, next to the water of the lake. And in this little forest is also water. Not in a lake, but in a tub. A hot tub. Yesterday it was already too dark to film these segments here, so we had to come back today. And they not only have hot tubs, but also cabins. I always wanted to build a house in my life. I think it's a, a way of self-expression. You can look at it and say, I built that with my own hands. It's an amazing uh, feeling. For myself, I felt like it goes really good into the forest. Since it's not straight on the outside and then has a roof, the outside line doesn't look as big as a normal house. That's my mm -hmm. advantage, why an no, A-frame. <laughs> It was a kid house. Mm -hmm. uh, we bought it from Estonia. I started in March about. Right now, we are closely finished on the outside and starting to build the inside. I think I was a bit too euphoric on how quick I can build. It said for this rough structure on the outside, uh, four to six weeks. Definitely not. Mm. So uh, you have to have a lot of time because whenever you build something, something goes wrong. Ah, nee, dann war das doch 144, nicht 144. It's very important to have some support. It was all Workaways. The Workaway is an online platform where you can connect to locals who need help. And I have done this many times in many different countries and I can recommend it. To, to help me. And in the beginning, it were strangers. And then they really became friends and it felt like a family really. And it was amazing. It's very interesting, it's very hard work sometimes, but it's so much fun. I'm able to learn so many things and uh, yeah, to connect with myself as well, to get to know what I can and what I can't do, kind of. And I can do more than I thought I can. Maybe it is a concept that can also be put on a raft. After filming, it was time to say goodbye again. Thank you! But not without being gifted some upgrades for our little garden. Hey, Do! Hey, <laughs> if you want to spend your vacation here, you can find the link in the description. We haven't built a cabin yet, but we continue with the building on our raft. a kitchen table. It's so much easier. And we have a solar table. <laughs> More details on our electric setup you will get to see in a future episode. On the raft we don't really get much exercise, so it's nice to go for a walk. 
And for a walk we went and found this. We are not far from the shore, in a place in the middle of the Swedish forest. It is the car graveyard of Bastnes. Hundreds of cars stranded in nature. But nature is stronger. For a banana, it takes one full year to completely rot. So now the question is, how many bananas fit in a car? In the 1950s, two brothers started to collect cars to sell spare parts to Norway, which they did until the late 80s. Now Google says it's a museum, and it's even mentioned on the Swedish tourism site. This was Trash of the Week. I'm Nora. And as a reporter, I should stay neutral. And I might risk my job by saying this, but I don't really like what I'm seeing here. I don't think that trash belongs out here. And it is too much for us to take on the raft. So we just have to leave it here. But it does look really cool. And you are also very cool for watching till the end. So we hope we get to see you next week again. Actually, no, because we, we don't, don't see you, but you see us. We hope <laughs> that you get to see us next week again in the next week's weekly raft show. And always remember, when you meet a stranger, you might end up in a hot tub. Exactly. Float well. Float well. <laughs>